The second suspect convicted of shooting into a crowd of people and over the Rhine in 2022 is going to prison. 36 year old Jarvis Barnes was sentenced today to six years behind bars. Mike Spell's been following the case in Hamilton County since the beginning. He is live now with the very latest. Mike. You've got people afraid to go downtown and enjoy themselves because of people like you. Those words from Hamilton County Judge Leslie Giz, who called what Jarvis Barnes did, something that a teenager would do, not a 36-year-old man. Before taking his plea deal, Jarvis Barnes faced up to 80 years in prison on multiple counts of felonious assault. This was one of the most dangerous stunts that I have seen since I have uh, been on this bench in 12 years. According to court documents, a fight broke out on a crowded Main Street about 1.30 in the morning on August 7, 2022, and that it was between two groups over contested territory. It happened during Joe Dieter's tenure as prosecutor. This is some kind of petty turf thing that they had a beef about, and they put innocent people's lives in jeopardy. Current prosecutor Melissa Powers says she won't stand for that kind of violence either. Got the wrong prosecutor in the wrong place to do that kind of activity. Nine people were shot and injured, none seriously. All of the victims attributed to gunfire from Barnes's co-defendant Diablo McCoats, who is now serving a 10-year prison sentence. He did shoot approximately seven to eight shots. No one was shot, but he did shoot into a crowd of people from across the street. How old are you, Mr. Barnes? 36. How far did you go in school? Oh, um, I got my GD in prison. Judge Leslie Giz says she took into consideration Barnes's criminal past, including a 2018 conviction for assaulting a Hamilton County Sheriff's deputy. The judge said Barnes was fortunate he didn't take this current case to trial. You're darn lucky that it's an agreed plea um, and that you didn't push this to trial because if convicted, you can be promised that you would have gotten uh, the maximum I could have given you. The prosecutor and Barnes's defense attorney agreed to the six year prison sentence. I do have full faith in our prosecutors that work in our courtroom day in and day out. They understand how to evaluate a case, how to understand what is the best ultimate result where justice will be served. When asked by the judge if he wanted to say something before she sentenced him, Barnes said, quote, no, ma'am. The prosecutor tells us there was a third suspect in this case, someone who fired six shots that night. That person has not been identified, nor that person has not been located either. Reporting live downtown, Mike Shell, Fox 19 Now. You know, Mike, I think like one of the craziest things of that is that was so crowded on the streets and that many shots fired. They are horrible shots, by the way. I mean, how do you not hit it, yeah. somebody? It was like, it, it's, it's amazing to me. It's a miracle. And that's what that's what I've heard from every uh, law enforcement officer I've spoken to, every uh, attorney, defense attorney included. Uh, we're, we're talking at least 25 shots fired. Uh, there were injuries, but none of them were, were serious. But yeah, could have very easily have been loss of life that night yeah. in August of 2022. Trisha. Right, it's like a movie, and you watch it, and you're like, that's so stupid. There's no way no, no one got hit. You know what I mean, Steve?